Hello, this is a comparison video between the Miki Yukara Royale and the Vermilion Urushi finish with a broad nib and the Mont Blanc 149 with an oblique broad nib. And this is the black and gold trim finish that everyone knows for. So let's get into the review comparison. So for the Namiki, the clip is not around the cap like in the Mont Blanc 49. It's within the cap. Then you have Namiki and Namiki logo. You have this pilot type clip, the bolt in the bottom. It's a pretty stiff clip, but it's still spring loaded a little bit. I would not use it because it's still really lacquered. Whereas this is also a stiff clip, but it's way more practical because it's a resin body. On the Mont Blanc 49, it says West Germany, then the serial number is right here, whereas the serial number is above the clip on the Namiku Car Royale. On the band, and this, it says Mont Blanc. Uh, Meister Stoke No. 49, where there's nothing here, it's just bronze trim right there. And let's see. The sizes are different. So when you have the body itself, the body itself is bigger, longer, pretty much the same girth. Mumbo 149 is a little bit girthier, but the nib is bigger for the Mumbo 149. As you can see, the nibs are gorgeous. This is one single tone, this is two tone. It says Namiki, 18 karat gold nib, broad. Mount Fuji, Mickey logo there. On this it says 4810, 18 carats. Does not say if it's oblique broad nib. None of the Mont Blanc nibs do that, which I hate about it. But this is an oblique broad nib, as you can see by the tip. It's a broad nib. That's why I thought it would be a cool comparison even though the prices differ vastly. The feed, this is a plastic feed that's red, whereas this is a split ebony feed. This is a 1985 to 1991 version, so the current ones are plastic feed, but this is the older version that is ebonite feed. Now, I do not post my pants, so I'm not going to post these, so I don't want to damage it, but yeah, forgot to show it like side by side, but they're pretty much the same length, they're pretty much the same girth by appearance when they're side by side like this. And in terms of mechanisms, the Mont Blanc 149 is a piston filler. You have a striated ink window right there. You can see there's barely any ink left, so you can see it more clearly. And when you do it like this, you can see the ink go down. And so it's a piston, you open it up. So basically, convert it, build inside a pen. So this holds a little bit more ink. Um, and But the problem is because Mont Blanc has proprietary mechanisms for opening things up. So cleaning this is a lot harder because you can't just open it up like the Pelicans. You have to get special tools from Mont Blanc themselves or on like eBay or something. Whereas the Namiki Car Royale is a cartridge converter pen. As you can see it has the Con 70, black Con 70 in it. It holds about 0.9 millimeters of ink, so the ink capacity is not a problem. And 
But the problem with this is like, yep, cleaning is hard because you have to keep pumping this thing. But it's a lot more easier than this, cleaning it. And because there's less moving parts, it's easier to maintain than the Mobile 149 because you can't really like take out the pistons. If you do, you, you're breaking the warranty and whatnot. So it's just inconvenient how Mont Blanc does not give you the opportunity to just clean your pens like how Pelicans do. But yeah, that's one of the major differences. And in terms of uh, price point, uh, the Yukari Royale retails for about 1500 Mont Blanc 49 retails for about close to 1000 and this is an oblique broad nib, so this is kind of rare to find. The new ones to have oblique broad nibs, I think they're pretty much the same price as well. But yeah, this is an F9 feel, which I've been waiting for for a long time. And I bought this for about 1200 I bought this for 450 I think 430 forgot. Yeah, it's 430 or 450 which is a good price for this, I think. Because this is F9 feet and oblique broad nib. It's just older version, so it feels better because it's more soft. But this is very expensive, and yeah, I mean, this is like eight hundred dollars more expensive than this because of the urushi material that goes into it. And I prefer to writing, writing experience of this over this, which I mean, they're both very smooth nibs, but the. Miku Car Royale has a custom E23 type feedback, which is where it's soft nib. It just feels great. So, yeah, I mean, these are both very cool pens. I would consider this worth it more than this because you're paying for the artwork of this, and the buying experience is just as good. Let's get into the buying sample. Let's get into the buying sample. We'll start with the Mumble 149 first. It's a bleak broad nip, so you have to hold a certain way. They both have the same mix, so I'm just going to write down once. There's natural line variation because of the nib. So yeah, this is a great nib. This is a smooth nib. The only downside is like this is very wet. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but this is very wet. Yeah. And this, because of leak broad nib, this, the ink, it takes a lot of ink to write, so even though it has a big ink capacity, that might be a problem for some people. Now, let's get into... The Namiki Yukai Royale. This is a smoother nib for me with slight feedback. It feels like it's gliding on paper, but it's just, it's just letting you know that you're writing still. It's 18 karat broad nib.
Sorry about my bad handwriting. There's some line variation in this, but not much. And this is a Japanese broad, so you can see the difference in size between bleak broad and a Japanese broad. This is also a pretty wet ink. I mean, it's a wet pen, but it's not too wet, but not too dry either. It has perfect ink flow. So yeah, they're both very cool pens and good writing experiences. I prefer the Miki writing experience and the body, but you can't go wrong with either of them. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.